Today I'm going to show you how you can create a search form that once you uh, enter data in the search form, it will automatically search. I was working with a client this week and he was always searching through uh, a long list of, um, of orders to find the order that he wanted. And in the, this day and age, everybody uses barcode scanners. So you don't type the number in, you just scan it in, right? And so here we go. I'm gonna click my search button here. So I have my search form here and I enter an order number. I've created my own order numbers here. So it goes up to um, 1090. So let's put in uh, BH1080. How's that? And then it instantly goes down to BH1080 and um, it tells you the line number that it's on. And so you just click the new order. And so now let's go back up to the top. Let's go um, BH1, BH1002. And so there you go. It tells you that it's on line number six and it brings you up to where it is. So let me show you how I did this. So the first thing that I did is I created a user form and I created um, the order number and the line number. Um, this, these two fields are just text and this is um, a text box here. Now, um, if, you, um, if you click on this text box to get this to run automatically, so if you right click on it and you go view code, the code is Okay, if the length of the order text is greater than six, if somebody puts more than six characters in there, so ideally you could be scanning barcodes or whatever else, it will call up the search order, um, call search order for sub. Okay, and the other one is um, for a new order, um, you just, it just clears the fields and you can start over. So now, um, of course, I'm gonna include the, the, uh, the code in the description of my video. So let's go look at my um, my search order code. Okay, so uh, sub search order, and then we have order and range and row number, the string range string um, tracking or as a string. Okay, order number equals user form one order text. So that's that saying whatever I put in that field, um, X is four because that's where my data starts, and I go while X one which is um, column A doesn't contain a blank, then you're going to look through, you're searching for a range that contains, that contains your order number. And it says, if range is nothing, then you're going to get a message box, no order number was found, or else it's going to do, it's going to take the row number, and in sheet one, cells, row number select, so it's going to go to the location of that order. And then on the user form, in that other field, it's going to display the row number. And now it's going to circle through here. It's um, it, it's uh, circling through this, and so you have um, x equals x plus one, and you go end if, and then we have the loop for the end of your do while, and then go to end e because that's after um, that's after the message. Um, if no order was found, message box, then it goes to the end, so it doesn't try to run everything through. So that is how you create. That is how you get a user form to search automatically. Now, the other thing um, I'm going to show you is that um, on my um, on my form, I have a search box. People ask me this, and I um, so basically I have a little program, and it says sub show user form uh, user form one dot show because that's what our user form name is is user form one show, and that's the end of the sub. And so to get that on here, I go to, um, on my developer tab, I go to my insert and I go to um, the button. And so I could put a button in here and then it's gonna ask me um, what I want to uh, do. And I, I'm called that little macro show form. And so that's how you get your button to work. And so, um, so that is how you can get a search form to automatically search when data has been entered. Please subscribe.